Hello IB students, today we'll be solving a question from the physics paper, HL, paper 2, 2024. I'll be solving the first question that appeared on this test. Let's go to the question. Okay, here we have the first problem. It says that we have a stationary ball that's hanging from a light string and a pellet from an air rifle is traveling horizontally and gets embedded in the ball. The velocity of the pellet when it strikes the ball is given. We have been given the mass of the ball, the mass of the pellet, and we are supposed to find, calculate the speed of the ball and the pellet immediately after the impact. Okay, to solve this problem, uh, we can use momentum conservation. Momentum conservation states that the initial momentum of a system equals the final momentum of a system. We can use momentum conservation here because there is no external horizontal force. So momentum must be conserved horizontally. Okay, well what's the initial momentum of our system? Well, the initial momentum of our system is simply mass of the pellet times velocity of the pellet. The ball doesn't uh, contribute anything to the initial momentum because it's at rest. Alright, so we got the initial momentum and the final momentum can be written as mass of pellet plus mass of ball times V. So when the ball gets embedded, when the pellet gets embedded in the ball, this combined system is assumed to move with velocity V. And its momentum is going to be mass of the system. Now it's mass of pellet plus the ball times V. Okay, we can use both of these equations uh, and substitute the values here. If we do that, we get mass of pellet, velocity of pellet equals mass of pellet plus mass of ball times V. Rearranging this equation, we get V equals mass of pellet, velocity of pellet divided by MP plus MB. And that solves the first problem. We now just have to substitute the masses and the velocity. Be careful though that the masses are given in grams and we need to convert it into kilograms. So we're going to divide it by a thousand and then we are going to substitute here. I leave this substitution as an as an exercise for you to try. Okay, let's move on to the second part of the problem. Suggest why the combined kinetic energy of the ball and the pellet after the impact is less than the initial kinetic energy of the pellet. Meaning the initial when the pellet and the pellet is moving towards the ball, it has some kinetic energy. And when it gets lodged into the ball and the, and the combined system moves forward, the kinetic energy, when it gets embedded of the system, is less than the kinetic energy it had before the collision. Why is that? The reason is when this pellet, it strikes the ball, it the forces of interaction cause the ball to deform and this is a permanent deformation it's not like a spring you deform it the energy gets stored as potential and the spring bounces back and we get all the energy back that's not what happens here this is a permanent deformation so some part of the energy of the pellet gets converted is used to deform the ball and that's the reason the initial kin kinetic energy is not equal to the final kinetic energy of the system. Okay, let's move on to the next part. The ball with the embedded pellet rises to a maximum vertical height h. That's shown here. Draw and label the free body diagram for the ball at height h. Free body diagram means that you need to draw a dot which is given here and you need to show all the forces acting on that dot. The two forces acting are the tension Ft 
that's the force which the rope is pulling and the force of gravity which is vertically downwards fg okay so those are the two forces uh, right there determine h so we have to figure out the maximum height that the combined system rises here we can use energy conservation we'll say initial energy of the system after the pellet hits is equal to the final energy of the system when it rises to a height h the initial energy is the kinetic energy that it possesses half mass of pellet plus mass of ball v square all of this must be converted to potential energy m g h this entire term goes away and we can solve for h and h turns out to be v square over 2 g and that's it now we just need to substitute the value of v which we found here this is the value of v that we found earlier by using the momentum conservation and that completes the first problem from this paper if you need more help feel free to reach out to me and i'll be happy to help i'll see you in the next one happy learning